At all food service facilities, it is important to realize that food that is rejected upon delivery because it does not meet specifications is considered unsafe and should be labeled and segregated in order to ensure that the product does not end up being used in the establishment. At the facility, the food is first delivered to the loading dock where it is transported into the facility and inspected for damage before being stored. Foods are inspected for damages such as dents in cans and tears in bags. If these are found, the food products are considered rejected. Rejected food should be clearly labeled with brightly colored tape wrapped around the product that has unsafe or dented written on it or is marked with a permanent marker. After food has been rejected, it should be clearly segregated from all other safe foods. Depending on the relationship between the facility and its vendors, the facility may receive reimbursement for damaged goods, but all facilities should keep documentation of rejected foods. Potentially hazardous foods, such as meat, poultry, seafood, and dairy, must be refrigerated or frozen. Non-potentially hazardous foods can be stored at room temperature. Each type of food should be placed in the storage unit with the appropriate storage temperature, but in an area that is segregated from the safe food. The temperature of each storage unit should be monitored throughout the day so that food is kept at the correct temperature at all times. The unsafe food should be held in the designated storage areas until they can be returned to the vendor or properly disposed of.